What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Tall Sean. TS is who I am. Oh shoot. Another oh, shoot. why you don't never oh, stop shoot. me? Why you don't never stop me when I do that? Because I'm used to it myself. <laughs> you gotta stop me when I'm doing that, man. <laughs> You're supposed to be the co-host. You're supposed to stop me like, hey, wrong I'm show, Sean. I'm used to hearing it myself, so it's just automatic. What's going on, everyone? You're now tuned in to Life and Love with... Erica. And Sean here on the Got What You Need Network. You can check the Got What You Need Network. You can check the Got What You Need Network on Roku and YouTube. You can check us out on Amazon as well, but I ain't really promoting that at the moment. <laughs> it's not that it's not working. I'm just not a fan of it, and uh, I think I will probably going to remove it altogether until I can um, tweak it and make it right, but we're looking at you know expanding over to um, Apple TV soon, but um, yeah, so you know, just Roku and YouTube. All right, Roku and YouTube. Also, you can just listen to our beautiful and um, strong voices on um, Mm -hmm. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spreaker, preferably. Go to Spreaker. Spreaker. Listen to us on Spreaker. Or you can go to CastBox, I guess. We used to have a deal with CastBox a long time ago. Uh, So I guess you can go to CastBox (laughs) and listen to us as well. Um, and enjoy us, yo. Just go and listen and enjoy us um, and have some fun, you know? Yeah. So how you doing, babe? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing great, you know. You going to speak up? I'm up. <laughs> you was, I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing good. How about you, baby? Yeah, there we go. There hey. we go. <laughs> 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 Yo, just want to let everybody know. Just want to let everybody know the merch is out. So just like we said the last pod, the merch is out. The merch is out. We've already got a few purchases, which is uh, I think is great. Um, just to let you know, five percent at the end of the month, we're gonna tell tally up a percentage of our sales, mm-hmm. and then we're gonna give back to a, a cause or or something. We're gonna give back to something. Yes. So. Make sure you go and purchase something. Just go to GWUNnetwork.com, and that is GWUNnetwork.com. Go to the store, and then shop on our store, man. Go copy your hoodie. Go get yeah. you a bucket hat. Um, <clears throat> we have Got What You Need hoodies. We have um, Black Male Bucket Hats. We have a tie-dye Got What You Need bucket hat. We have... Um, we have a tr- we have a jogger um, pants and top suit, but they you know they sold separately uh, for women. It's look fly, dope roses on it. It's an all print. Um, we have t shirts. Got what you need. T shirts. We have um, black male beanies. We're gonna have some life and love, but we're coming up with a dope slogan. We want to put some slogans together, yeah. so we're coming up with something cool for life and love. Um, what else we got? So if it's something that you guys like, you know, yeah. that we say, let us know. You know, it might could be a nice little slogan. Yeah, like she said, <laughs> it could be a nice little slogan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, let's get in the show, man. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. We got a lot of stuff to talk about and a lot of stuff. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, Tonight. Let me look what we got tonight. We got a few things. I'm gonna get right into it. So look at it, don't pop up. So first question tonight is was there any time in our relationship when you doubted, doubted it would work out? That it would work out? Yep. Any time in our relationship that you just doubted that this ain't this may not work. Oh, may not work. Okay. Yeah, that's not gonna work out. Our relationship's not gonna work out. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had one of those early on in our relationship. Early on? I had one early on, yeah. I really thought that we were going to, you know, break up. We had been to, oh, God, how long we've been together? We've been together maybe, for a group. But maybe a year at that time. Right. For about a year. Uh-huh. You know, we were new. We both been filling out each other. Right. And I was stubborn, you were stubborn. I didn't like nobody to tell me nothing because right. I was my own person. You you definitely <laughs> were. And you still are. Yeah, still is. But I'm better. I'm better. Right. And so, um, gosh, this was what? This was before yeah, this was before we had Sean. Our first. Yeah. yeah, before we had Sean. This was before the first. Right. 
And so, it, you know, it. Look, I didn't like this boy a little bit. <laughs> I thought he was a mean person. So what we did is, so we were living together, right? And I decided that you know I want to go ahead and move out. You, you know, did. we needed some space from each other. So I figured, you know, having that little bit of space would, you know, bring us back together and, you know, kind of make us realize the real reason why we're here. So we did. You know, we had time apart, but really didn't have time apart. Yeah, because you wouldn't <laughs> let me live. <laughs> but it was You wouldn't good. let me be free. Um, no, it wasn't that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not that at all. <laughs> but I'm glad that, you know, we had that because it actually – you know, help and it opened our eyes, you know, to see. It opened your eyes. And it, no, it opened our eyes. <laughs> and it helped us with the communication process. Right, right, between right. Between each other. Right. Because I was very bad at communication. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, you were. Very bad. Yes, you were. And so, you know, I just thought, I said, you know what? I don't know. We might not make it. And we did. We had our first kid. And by that time, we was like, okay. First child come, we really got to make this work, you know. Right, right. Because I think we was about we was good by the time that happened. Yeah, yeah, we was, we was. But still, you know, when when a child comes into you know your relationship and it's your first one, you know, it can make things you know a little little rocky because yeah. now you have this you know little individual here, and you know you may start you know little arguments here and there and stuff because we did that you know when we had him, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, we did. That's, we did. Good. We had our moments. We had yeah, our moments. We did. I mean, there been a few moments here and there. Plus, with the with with the boy, I was super overprotective. Yeah, very overprotective. So we yeah. we, we we exchange words a little bit. <laughs> I was like, super overprotective. Process, we exchange words. Yeah. So, um, but it was good. You know, it was it was a good lesson. Um, so it, it helped us with the second one. As right. Well. Right. Yeah. So. Okay. I'm okay. glad it happened. You know? Yeah, I ain't, I ain't. At that time, I'm I'm agreeing with you. At that particular time, I thought it was a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was over. I was like, well, this is over. She done moved all the way up here, but at least she has another foundation. I always try to find a silver lining. I was like, well, she moved up here. It's not. A, there's there is a possibility that we can, you know, hook back up or something later. At this moment, plus I had a lot of baggage for my ex-wife, so I was still harboring um, certain negative anecdotes mm-hmm. and thoughts about um, how women move. Because I wasn't, I'm, you know, yeah. I wasn't a fan of a, you know a lot of things that mm-hmm. you did, and that was just me overanalyzing yeah, stuff. From, yeah, it came from your old relationship, right? And a lot of times that's easy to bring that over into something new because that's what you're used to doing. You know, you're used to trying, you know, protecting yourself. So, you know, you had to realize that I'm not with the same person anymore. Plus, I went from a whore to a dedicated band very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. I mean, I was back in my whole phase. I was like, oh, I'm out here. It, it was like, shut them down, clink, clink. That's how it was. Like one minute, you know, you all you on all this fuel, and then I came in the picture, and it was like, you know, like an airplane going down. That's how it was. I ain't gonna say that. I had to come and shut that shit down. You did shut it. Did yeah. the, 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 it did. <laughs> it was shut down. <laughs> yeah. Because I was a horror source. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I can say, or at least, you know, I, you know, I thought, or I was thinking, you know, when I did came into the picture, you know, that everything, you know, was already out of your system. You know, I don't think that you still was, you know, being a horror you know, once I came down, especially like in the early stage. Because of was how. I, was I still it, fucking people? Because of how it happened so fast. I mean, I wasn't fucking nobody no more. Like, I think, uh, and we've talked about this before, mm-hmm. when you, um, when you came down, when you came down to live, mm-hmm. definitely everything was done. That's what but um, that's what no, it, it stopped a little bit before that. But when you mm-hmm. came down to live, that definitely everything stopped. But um, when we were still in our process, just like you did, mm-hmm. I had to get one more out of there. You at me? <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah, just like yeah. you did. I had to get <laughs> one more out of there mm-hmm. before I totally shut it down. Mm-hmm. I ain't did no one more though. 
That's cap. No. You did. I called you after it got done. And you told me about it. That's the fucked up thing about it. You even told me about it. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. yeah. Ain't no cap. That's a full fledged <laughs> truth bomb. <laughs> well, I was in a relationship, so. You wasn't in a relationship. What else could I have done? What was I supposed to do? You wasn't in a relationship. I was. I joke and get done fucking me and then go fuck, bro, buddy. <laughs> You did the same thing too. Don't be acting. I mean, like that. yeah, that's why I ain't tripping. Mm-hmm. That <laughs> shit it is. Yeah. I mean, we gotta do. What we gotta do. To get to the next point. <laughs> Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> All right. So, um, yo, question. I mean, we sent this back and forth to each other. Uh-huh. Would you stay in a haunted house for twenty k? Yes, I would. For one night. For one night. I just won't close my eyes. I cannot go to sleep for a night. But what if that mojo, that juju, stays on you even after you leave? I don't think it's going to be and that it, bad. And it follows you to your home. I don't think it's going to be bad. It's it's a haunted house. Someone made it. It's it's not real. That's my mindset. I will do it. That will be the longest 24 hours ever. It definitely will be the longest. My thing is, how long, like, okay, overnight, so do I show up at, Seven. First thing that morning, and then and then stay until eight. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Do I do seven to seven, seven to eight? I I, look, I can make. You know what I mean? Where do I sleep at? Is there some beds in there, mm-hmm. or do I sleep on the floor in the um, on the what's the name? <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, yeah. Because I, I sleep on the floor in a little bunk bed. Now. It depends on how the atmosphere is. Yeah, yeah, we got to know how And to I'm know. talking about, like, where I'm sleeping at, what's popping. Because, mm-hmm. yo, if it's, if it's, like, all day, that might determine my change. Yeah. If I got to be in there from 7 in the morning yeah. to 7 the next morning. Yeah. I don't even want to be in this house that long. Like I'd be wanting to go outside just off that. So, like they got they have to explain that to me. Now is it seven p.m. to seven a.m. Then cool. You cool. But you're getting twenty thousand dollars for it though. Not from seven p. Not from seven a.m. to seven a.m. Twenty four hours. I think we can do that. Mm. I can't do it. I think we can do it. Oh, I I can't go outside. I got eat in here. Yeah. Can I get my phone? No. No, I gotta have my phone. Okay, you might can have your phone. I'm a text and shit. Yeah, then you can have your phone. I might can do it. I say fuck it, cause I ain't. I don't. You're not about to kill me, so. Yeah, it's it's not gonna be nothing like that. It's just being scared. Someone just scaring you. You know, you it must know, be a lot of shit going on in the house. I, I'm sure for them is. to have twenty, for them to put twenty k up. Yeah, it must be a lot of sure shit going is. in that home. Yeah, I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm that hard up for bread, yo. I'm thinking how it's gonna be. We've been somewhere. I couldn't remember where it was, but we, um, we went through some place. It was like on like a little boat thing or whatever. Other people was on it, of course. Mm-hmm. And we went through like this little haunted thing. I think we was at one of the parks. Oh okay. We went through like one of these haunted. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. With yeah. water, some places, mm-hmm. you know, people just come out and you know stick their head out at you and stuff. Right, like that. right. I think it will be something like that. But what if these are real ghosts sticking their head out? Like, think about that. What if they're real ghosts sticking it? So they go and pick a spooky house. Where real ghosts live. Walls moving and shit, shit happening. Or you go in there and you like, man, fuck this shit. I'm in here. Nothing may not happen to you. It'll be in there. Yeah. Give my 20000 I'm going back to the house. Yeah, we're going to have to act like we don't know each other. Now we 20 gonna stacks sit. a piece. We gonna- <laughs> <laughs> that's 40. You right. See, now that's more of a sense to go in there. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. 20 a piece. We don't even know each other. You right. They're like, but, but y'all last name is the same. Um, mm-hmm. Jones is our slave name. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a slave last name, son. 
right. Tommy, I'm down. Shit, fuck yeah. it. It's in Tennessee, y'all. So if you don't know where it's at, it's in ten- Tennessee. Let me see what part of Tennessee this I shit is at. I think if it's not on no, what's they it's call it? It's in Nashville. Paranormal. What is it? Paranormal yeah, paranormal. Yeah, yeah, paranormal. Yeah. Yo, this house look like shit, though, man. That shit might be hard as fuck. So. I'm sure they got a lot of stuff. What's now being called? The scariest haunted house in America is offering guests twenty thousand dollars if they can make it all the way through without uh, quitting. The place is called McKinney May um, Manor. Is um, yeah, the McKinney Man- Manor. Now I'm acting like I'm having a hard time reading this curse. <laughs> right. <laughs> because they got all in one word and it's like, all right. And it's located just outside of Nashville, Tennessee, about 300 miles west of Charlotte. <laughs> no. Nope. Okay. Well, I really think it's going to be real scary for sure. Oh, it's here. Like- oh, hell. Let me throw you the loop in. All right. The manor also requires visitors to complete a 40-page waiver, a physical exam, and even have a doctor's note with them before they are allowed to enter. So now they want to make sure that you ain't going to have no heart attack. And you're not going to sue the ass. <laughs> Each guest is filmed during their journey for their own protection and for the protection of the owner, Yo, Russ McKinney. Russ has already been sued several times for things people claim were done to them in the manner that do not appear on the video, which is torture. Damn, so you want to get tortured? Everybody about to fucking torture me now. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what he said. Nah, we ain't doing that. You ain't touching me. Look, not even Navy SEALs made it through. And these are supposed to be some of the toughest people in the world. Navy SEALs. Okay, see, now they talk about something different. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just saying. Look, I'm telling you. McKinney Manor also requires that potential visitors must be inside the house for 10 hours. Here we go. So that's good. That's not long. 10 hours. Be 21 years old or older or 18 to 20 with parents' approval. Yep. Completed sports physical and doctor's letter stating you are physically and mentally cleared. Pass a background um, check provided by McKinney Manor. Be um sc- be screened via Facebook and FaceTime or phone. Mm-hmm. Proof of medical insurance. Dang. Yep. Insurance. Sign a detailed 40 page waiver and pass a Portable drug test on the day of the show. So they want to make sure they're screening you. They don't want to make sure that you aren't crazy, so right. you won't hurt nobody. Right. <laughs> now you want my background. Somebody said drug test is where they lost me. <laughs> <laughs> Automatic fail. <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I don't know about all that now. I'm I'm going there just to have fun. That's too deep for me for twenty thousand dollars. That ain't even worth it. Just from reading that. So I take it back. I guess I won't be. Hmm. So I said 10 hours. Hell no. That's my thing, That's yo. That's a lot of stipulations. It's a lot of though. stipulations for 20 bands. That's like, I feel like it should be more. I feel like it should be more. Yeah, that should be more money. 20, if, 20 bands ain't enough. Health physical? 20 bands ain't sure enough. In good shape. That I ain't going to go in there and pass out or nothing. You about to do it that bad to where... You gonna make sure I ain't gonna die? Yo, you? this is I keep reading on. I'm like, yo, it's more and more shit. I'm cool. I'm cool on that, man. I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. Ain't hard press. And I've already told you, I don't pay nobody to scare me, yo. Sure ain't. They ain't about to pay you to scare nope. me. Nope. You ain't gonna scare me. So I got a reaction um video slash audio that I think we should we should play, yo. Okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Bring them out. I want to be the best lover my woman has ever had. You know what I mean? And I realized that staying in that corner was not going to be it. Somebody's going to please her. When I get up after having sex and leave, she has to always go to the vibrator. I had a partner that was like that for me. I was like, I cannot, I was doing a countdown, like, fall asleep, please. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And I had a partner that had to do that. I remember my baby mama when I left one morning 
um, I was going to the train station and I get to the train and I didn't have my Metro card. And I'm like, damn, I go back to the house, get the Metro card. And as soon as I open the door, you know, mm. <laughs> I was like, really? Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> and I didn't realize it's because she wasn't ever always satisfied. Like sex was one thing, but satisfaction is another when you say protection. Mm. Oh, that's mm. What's your thoughts? Yeah, What's your right. thoughts? Mm. What is your thoughts? Yeah. I mean, I know those things happen. Um, I don't have those issues. I'm good. But I hear people talk about it all the time. Right. Like, as soon as they finish, they go and they finish up by something else. That's... Because they couldn't get theirs. That is... That's deep, though. It is. It's I, I would want you to tell me on, a, on, a, on, a, on an honest note, like yeah, honestly. I would want to know as well. I would want you to, to tell me like, hey, Sean, um, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't satisfied. Right. I wasn't satisfied. I didn't get mine. Yep. Yeah. That would suck to be in a relationship, like in a real relationship like that. It would really yeah. suck. Oh, man. Yeah. Like as soon as he gets up, you go and you get the vibrator. Yep. And you get yours. Yeah, that's not cool. I can't see myself just being around you all day, every day, just having a normal, you know, regular conversation with you. Like nothing is going on. Like everything is all good. Yeah. And after we, you know, have sex, I'm going to go get my toy to finish off. That's not cool. I I think that's. <sighs> and that ain't fair. To but I, like I said, I would want you to. No, I don't. I I don't even. I'm not even looking at that. It's not fair to me type thing because sex. You want everyone should be pleased. Everybody should be pleased. Everyone. Um, that's the goal of sex. That's the, that should be the goal of sex. That should be the goal of intercourse. Um, uh, especially if you with your partner with someone that you you deem to um love and care about. Yeah. Now, if if you have to um, use the vibrator to get your orgasm, and and at the time you feel like that's the only way you can get it, I would not. I I wouldn't fault you for it. Mm-hmm. My only thing is, I would request that you talk to me yeah. first. Talk to me about it, even afterwards. I'm like you know, go handle your handle. Go do what you got to do to get yourself together. That's like me having sex with you. Tell you I came, but I didn't come, and I go and jack off in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Or if I did come, I still don't feel like I'm fulfilled enough, so I go jack off in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. That shit, that's wild. That'd yeah. be, I'd be, you know what I mean? That'd be crazy. Yep. So I would suggest, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? Yes, you know, handle handle what you need to handle. But then I also feel like, hey, you should talk to me. We should have this conversation, mm-hmm. and we should. Um, we should um, discuss discuss it. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, everybody hitting me because we getting we actually getting multiple orders just now for this <laughs> for off our um, store. So they just keep beeping, beeping. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I just I would I just would like for you to the least let me know, said baby. Um, that that's the least. Yeah, you know what I mean, baby. Um, you know. When we when we do make love, or you know, or you know, you might just say when we have sex, mm-hmm. I am not being fully pleasured and pleased. Yeah, I would like for you to pay more attention to me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, when we're having intercourse, yeah, like have those conversations. I think, man. I think also too, man. We take the fun out of sex because we're trying to do so much. Do 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 do. Mm. do do, do so much do like a couple nights ago we had some fun having sex you know what i'm saying and uh, not to say we we don't have fun sometimes it sometimes it be just like hey let's get this going you know what i mean because we don't have time you know what i mean oh, it's all about me right yeah you know what I mean? like shit like that <laughs> you know what i mean but we went we went out to a concert get home we were so tired like a bunch of old people we didn't and, and we ate the wrong thing we ate the wrong that fucking thing wrong after the concert thing. that was the worst shit we ever did after that that um max Concert. That's what messed us up. We ate some shit that 
put us in different places in the house. <laughs> so we had to get our life together. <laughs> and by the time that was over, it was like, fresh, get your freshen up. Um, well, good night. Good night. <laughs> Love you. Yup. Next day, had to go and do some shit. Mm-hmm. And that threw my whole day off. <laughs> threw the whole day off. Um, you know what I mean? That's Saturday. But, you know, Sunday night, mm-hmm. we went straight to the gusto. Yup. Straight to it. That's right. A lot of quivering and shaking, boy. Hey. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a little a good, good fun. Day. Like we had a lot of fun on that that <laughs> night. So for me, that was like hell yeah. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. I I I was determined to make sure <laughs> <laughs> that my woman got some pleasing. <laughs> oh, you but, did. You was determined. You made sure. <laughs> You you kept saying to man, too nice to fuck me up. I can't clap them cheeks. Yeah, I can't clap them cheeks. <laughs> Guess what? That third night, cheeks got the clapping. <laughs> Shit. Wasn't gonna make it past two. I hell no, nah. hell no. Nah. Like, not me. I ain't not your boy. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I spent too much money for me not to clap no cheeks. <laughs> and we married. <laughs> we married. Yeah. That's funny, but um, <laughs> but yeah. I, I believe it, man. It was always my. I think I'm. I think sometimes I'm overly, and this might sound bad, but I'm sometimes I can be overly concerned about making sure my partner is getting theirs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Can I? Yes. Yes. Sometimes you can. Yeah. I mean, I have to let you know it's okay, baby. It's okay. I'll be like, like making I, sure. I don't have a problem with it. I really don't. It's okay. yeah, I'll be making sure. Like, hey, get this nut, girl. You're going to get that nut. Shit, no. Or two or three. You're going to get them nuts now. You're going to bust over here. You're going to orgasm. We're going to orgasm over this motherfucker. Cause you ain't about to go tell no friends around here that you ain't orgasm fucking with your boy. We ain't doing that. No. No. No, 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 no. That's the heads up I got on you niggas that was before me. <laughs> Be making a quiver and shake. Ooh. That's why. We talk a lot now. She be telling me that y'all niggas didn't do it all the time. <laughs> y'all ain't do it right. Hey. She be telling me. Made the best man win. All right, uh, too late. I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. But that was a good yeah. one, yo. That was a good one. Yeah, don't do that. Ladies, man, don't do that. Yo, just talk to each other, yeah. man. Communication is key. Uh, all you got to do is just sit down, have that little conversation. And you may not know. It may be just be one little thing. It may be one little position that you moving in too fast. Because sometimes it happens when you doing your thing and you getting it in. And you can be right there. And then all of a sudden, you know, your partner just move and then just throw everything off. Yeah. I know yeah. for me, sometimes it happens like that. And now I feel like, yeah. like I got to start all over again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. it happened, you know, just to talk to him. And nobody's going to get embarrassed. You're all grown. You Y'all has been taking too goddamn long sometimes. Hurry I up. Enjoy. Hurry yeah. up and nut, nigga. No, because if I do, that's it. You like a nigga. That's what you say. That's it. <laughs> I'm like turning a over. Nigga. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. So let me be. You like a nigga, yo. <laughs> I'm going to be busting be ready to <laughs> bow. Uh, uh, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how many women could relate to that. How many women um, also feel the same way when they um, orgasm? That's it. Ladies. Let me know. Let us know. We're going to put up a poll. Yeah, you've been good with them polls. Put up a poll. You know what I mean? Do y'all have that one orgasm and be like, yup, I'm done. (laughs) Like a dude. Or y'all sitting there like, yo, I need to get two or three before I get up out of (laughs) here. You know what I mean? Let us know. Let us know. Yeah. Let us know. That's good. Let us know. All right. Quick question. Here's another one. Um, What is your favorite memory of us together? Let's see. What is is your favorite memory? Dang. We got a bunch of memories, dog. we, We do have a bunch of memories. We really do. Every time we go somewhere, we always have fun. Yeah, we always create a memory, though. But mm-hmm. it won't be. It's, this is not a memory memory because it's not that long. But you know, I've never been to Miami. Oh yeah, yeah. We've yeah. been there recently over the summer. Right. And I really, really fucking enjoyed myself. Yeah, you be talking about that a lot. Yeah. And it it look, I was just so excited to be there. And to be there with you 
we just had so much fun because it was just us. We were doing us. Yeah, we were definitely doing us. You know, we were going places that, you know, we normally don't go. I was wearing my damn clothes that I wanted to wear for the longest. Yeah. You know, just, you know, we were looking cute. We were looking sexy. And yep. people was looking at us. They were giving us compliments. Like they, they were. were watching us the whole weekend. They were. And stuff. like That feel we, good, don't it? Yeah, it did. <laughs> you know? That girl kept smiling at us every time she see us. She did. Y'all so cute. I love what y'all she be did. wearing. I don't know if she wanted to come in the room with us or what, but <laughs> she had her eyes on us. She had a nice little body. She could have. Yeah, she know. did. Yeah, she was kind of <laughs> short, though. She was kind of yeah, short. That's cool. Bit. Yeah, for you. <laughs> Yeah, once you lay down, that don't, don't, shit don't matter. We ain't standing up. I guess. We ain't standing up, son. I guess. As someone that slayed many a short woman, I ain't there. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now, you had some short men in your life. <laughs> I know at least two. It wasn't all that short. I don't like short men. <laughs> you don't. No. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let me see. My... I had so many, yo. Yeah, it is. Because I always try to do lot. different shit. Yeah. But, you know, I just remember, like, even after coming I think home, we went to the Bahamas. Talked about it. You know, I thought about that, too. Yeah. We did. You know, I think that was kind of, like, one of the the first, you know. Nah. What? We've been to Orlando, like, a thousand no, times no, before. No, like, bro. out of the, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. I got you. for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got you. You know, that was the first time leaving from home. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Yeah, that was a good experience, too. But But what you about to say about Miami? Everything's been about Florida. I would just say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, I love me some Florida. You do. Once I get old, that's where we moving to. Oh, no. Then I'll turn it to Republican. We'll get there. No, you ain't got to. I ain't a Democrat neither right now, but... Mm-hmm. But go ahead What you were saying But yeah um, You know Even after You know We came back Like I still Raved about it You, you know, did we just had so much fun And plus I don't know Something Something kicked at me While we were there Cause I brought it back home With me too So that was dope too Yeah You know I'll say that I agree I agree You I got agree. the fire burning A little bit more I agree Yeah I agree. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. What happened when I take you to the little waters and nice mm-hmm. sand? Like, you know? I told you I like. Shit, wait till our 10 year anniversary mm-hmm. trip. I'm going to be on you like white on rice then. <laughs> 10 year anniversary trip going to be fire. Going to be fire. Super mm-hmm. fire. Yeah, can't wait. Looking forward to it. <laughs> so, question um, What would you like us to do more of in the future? Hmm. What more? I want us to go out and do us a little more. Yeah, we don't I, definitely don't do us a lot. No, we don't. I I know. You talk individually or together? No, together. Okay. Together. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't care about individual. I don't. You know. I, but I get what you're saying. I go to the store. I'm good. That's my right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about people. People. I just um, go for a ride. And I'm sure. Yeah. 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 I know we always say, you know, we got kids and everything, and that kind of, you know, slows the process down of us doing anything. But I think we can try a little harder. You know, they're getting a little, you know, older, upper in age now. So I think we can try a little more harder, you know, at, at going and doing stuff together, you know. I agree. Yeah. Especially like out, because I love when we do that. It brings us, you know, together more, and we get, you know, we get a chance to see things differently, right? Different places and right. stuff, and you know, we just we have that time to ourselves, right? And then plus, me when we together, I like to act like a little kid, like we can just go to a darn spot and just play a whole bunch of games or something, right? You know, like just do that, like I'm, I'm a right. kid. We've done that before, together. which is true. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't mind that. We just laughing, we just having fun. You know, not too much work involved in it. You know, just right, kind of right. get away a little bit and relax and stuff. So I want us to do more of that. Okay, it's not much in our relationship that talk I think about. We should do better. You know, um, we've been doing good. We've been progressing. Um, you know, we've been keeping communication with each other. So we, you know, we know what each other want. That's we right. We understand each other. That's right. Right now, shut up. We understand each other. Mm-hmm. And so. Um, 
I think it's just getting out more. Okay. For me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm with that. I'm good with everything else. I hope that's right. How you doing? <laughs> Y'all here? She good with everything else now. Big Daddy be making sure we good over in y'all on the Jones house. You good with that? Yeah. No, nah, I think I think I think I'm I'm with you there. Us doing um, more stuff together, doing doing us. Mm-hmm. We do a lot of family stuff, so yeah. Don't get things twisted that we just want to exclude family. No, we do a lot of stuff with our boys. Um, we do tons of stuff with our boys. Yeah. But sometimes you just want to do you. Yeah. You want to do you. You know, me and a friend was talking and, and, you know, we were saying, you know, we're tired of being, you know, like parents sometimes. You know, sometimes we just want to not have, you know, responsibility sometimes. You know, like a day or two or something like that, you know. And that's that's kind of like how I feel, you know, I want us to kind of, you know, get away from the norm to every day and just do us. I love my babies to death, I do. Oh, yeah. But sometimes That's Trey saying, I love them to life. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just need a break, you know. No, I'm with you there. I'm with you. I'm not going to mm-hmm. disagree at all with you. Yeah. I'm not going to disagree at all. Mm-hmm. I'm with you. I'm with that. All right. That's my thought. That's my thought. So this is stupid time. That's what I call it. Since the last That's two like pods, we've been at the end of the pod is some stupid shit. Yeah. So stupid time oh, with stupid. Erica and Sean <laughs> here on the Gobble Need Network. <laughs> Let's see, what did I do? She opened up her ass and farted. No. That shit said. <laughs> yeah, she spread. She she got up. She said, Nas, I got to fart real bad. I said, go ahead, girl, let it out. Is you natural? <laughs> go ahead, natural. She said, all right. Shorty bent over. She had on great tights. She mm-hmm. went in her fucking tights. I seen the air from the fucking tights go. I lied to you not. It... She can't walk out the room. <laughs> Weirdly enough, it kind of turned me on. It was the act of the spreading the ass. The ass, bes- besides the fart, the you fart. You just a nasty nigga, bro. I am. She opened up her ass <laughs> and farted. I just want to up and get a party. <laughs> Did the f- yeah, she spread. She she got up. She said, Nas, I got to fart real bad. I said, go fart. ahead, girl, let it out. Is you natural? <laughs> go ahead, natural. She said, all right. Shorty bent over. She had on great tights. She mm-hmm. went in her fucking tights. I seen the air from the fucking tights go. <laughs> I lied to you. Now them tights got a black spot in them. <laughs> I'm sure when she when he said go ahead and let it out, he did not mean right in front of me by opening your ass and let it. <sighs> I'm sure she, he didn't meant that. He ain't gonna turn around and say Tubba, he kind of turned him off. <laughs> <laughs> I know we supposed to be comfortable, but that's just too comfortable. Okay? That's too comfortable. That's nasty too. Don't pants for stank all night. <laughs> Smoking weed out of her damn ass. Nasty bitch. Do that. <laughs> that's nasty. I had to kick that squared ass. <laughs> Spread her ass. What happened to just going in the bathroom, cutting the fan on, or cutting the water on? You know what I'm saying? And just fought. Just let that shit go. Once you go in the bathroom and cut the light on. Everybody won't keep it real. Just go ahead and fart. I'd have kicked the square in her ass, yo. She'd have bent over in front of me and foot. And as she, yeah. as I smell that fart come out of her ass, I'm gonna kick the lip. <laughs> <laughs> I am Sparta. <laughs> That's what it's gonna be, yo. Kick the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shove her ass across the damn room. You ain't gonna about just stand your ass up right here and just stick your hands in your pants and open your ass so you can fart. We not gonna do that. Yeah, that's nasty. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do and that. And rude and disrespectful. And you need to go home. I am Sparta. He still turn around and clap those cheeks. Oh no, he clapped them cheeks. He 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 spread them. He went behind her and spread them cheeks to clap. So he can smell that ass residue. 
That's what he did. He wanted to smell that residual fart that she left behind. Ew, fart lingers. Nasty in your clothes, motherfucker, man. man. It lingers in your clothes. Hey, man. Some people don't understand that. It lingers. It lingers and in the clothes. She got on tight. Ass tight. open. She ass got a open. Black spot. She got a black spot right in the middle of her crack right now. She walking for Nasty bitch. She nasty. Ain't got no class. Rude. I am Sparta. Yeah. <laughs> Kick her. <Ooh. laughs> right across the room. Oh, yeah, I'm playing shit one more time. She opened up her ass and farted. <laughs> yeah, she Yeah, she That's all I wanted to hear. I might take that shit as a sound bite. She opened up her cheeks and f- opened up her ass and fought it. I would never think about doing no shit like that. You better not. Even, even, even with us married. Different these days. You hear me? I would never think about nothing like that. Even, even with us married. With my husband, I would not. I'm going to swift kick your ass. ass. Open it and fart. I wouldn't do that. I'm going to swift kick your ass. Kick your Damn. ass. Damn. Well, well. <laughs> so, do you have anything else you want to add to the show? Uh, no, except you guys just listen to my individual podcast. Yes, E and Friends podcast. Listen, I listen, your listen. Host, your girl, Model E, airs every bi weekly Tuesday. Yes. Make sure you go to the Got What You Need Network website. GWN well, Network. GWN Network. And you go and buy yourself something, okay? Yes, buy yourself right. something. It's self care. Yep. All right. So, once again, everyone, this is Life and Love with Erica and Sean here on the God What You Need Network. Catch y'all out. Catch y'all next week. Peace. Damn.